sky of amber, mid-autumn breeze, smell of cinnamon and apple. Shadows dance across the wall. I watch them nestled in safety. Hooves intertwined with hooves, and fur, and wing. And I wonder, how it possible to love someone so much as her? I feel curve of her back, gentle breathing, the heat of it against my chest. Where her face is pressed, loving the heat of another pony, blankets wrapped too tight, almost too warm. But I dare it move, lest I disturb peacefulness. Magenta eyes stare back at me. I wonder. How long had she been awake? Her face moves up to mine. Tender lips, pressed together, content to just be there, existing. A shadow stands across the wall, and mid-autumn breeze flutters through the windowsill. I realize. How I could love someone so much as I her. It's not so hard if you try. Pinky says she saw us by the park behind an old building. Rainbow denied it, of course. I find lying to my friend. An exercise in feeling oneself. I wanted to call out in front of all our friends. Yes, it's all true. I was kissing Rainbow Dash behind quilts and sofas, where I find out just what kissing feels like. I wanted to tell all of them how much I was so impossibly in love. What Rainbow. Tastes like that look in her eyes when I can see she is deeply in love. I love her too, more than I love books, and that's saying something. That feeling in my chest when she looks at me fiercely and intensely. I know she's thinking about kissing and other things. My heart wants to beat out of my chest. I don't tell them. It must have been another pony, I say. Rainbow breathes a sigh of relief. I feel a hoof touch me under the table. It's not so bad, having a secret. Dear Princess Celestia, I thought I saw you today, by the market stalls, standing regally, in a throng of shoppers. Head held high, smiling pleasantly. When I was young, you used to take me to the opera. I remember it vividly. This is a different kind of learning, you would say, that you can't find in books. Real ponies bearing their souls, singing their hearts, and I found it hard to disagree. It couldn't have been you today. No pony else seemed to notice. But it does make me wonder. Do you ever travel Equestria in secrecy to see from our eyes? Have you ever been in love so fiercely it almost frightens you that it causes such a longing as to make your heart ache? I suppose this is as good a time as any to tell you the world beyond the library seems small now. The coldest winters. Warmer, with her around beside me, and chiding me for staying up late when instead I should have gone to bed. I never knew there was so much more to friendship as this. 
I guess you were right all along. I was on the upstairs balcony, looking out at the stars through my telescope, when you showed up. A flurry of feathers and wind, tossing your mane to one side. I acted annoyed, but secretly am glad to see you. What's up, Twy? You say? Stargazing, I mutter. We're supposed to be able to see the Equinus Major tonight. Sounds like fun. You sat down. Put your wing around me. Pretend to be interested. I know you don't care for the stars, but the gesture is sweet regardless. Your wing is warm. The primaries tickle my sides. I feel your breath on my neck, nuzzling against me. It's a welcome reprieve from the cold evening air. Is something bothering you, Rainbow? I ask, still peering through the telescope. I hear your hesitation piercing through the silence. I was thinking about you all day, Twy. You were? The telescope waits as we gaze at each other. Your eyes seas of ambition and desire. You act first. Our lips meet. Like a thousand newly discovered constellations, my heart burns for you. The Equinus Major can wait. It's already been discovered. I'm like what lies waiting, trying to escape from my chest. I love you, I whisper. I know, you say. Why wouldn't you? I'm awesome. Ask me a year ago, and I probably would have said the greatest thing on earth is books. All pony knowledge, centuries of history, wrapped up in convenient tomes. What's not to love? Now whenever I find time to read, you take it upon yourself the opportunity to curl up and bother me. I should find it infuriating. My time for books invariably diminished. But I don't. Your hoofs like to wander along tired shoulders across my back down my haunches. You're insatiable, and that's what I love most about you. You see what you want, and you take it. It feels good to be wanted so much, desired, like the only other pony in Equestria. That's what I like more than books, the feeling of you next to me. So why do we rebuke our love to our friends? I thought we'd agreed on keeping us a secret. There were reasons for it. You had your job on Weather Patrol. Me, I wasn't ready. Or at least, that's what I told myself. I thought we agreed to not tell our friends. For fear of making it weird. Or condemnation. After all, how could we go behind their backs the way we have been? Nestled together at sunrise, trapped in each other's embrace, and here you told them, on our behalf, as we sat at dinner, the five of us. I should be mad, but I'm not. I'm relieved, proud, in such awe of you and your courage. I know this isn't for you. How could it be? You knew how I had been hurting. It must have been all over my face. Our friends are happy for us. There is an exchange of laughter. I guess everyone knew. The worst kept secret in town. How many times had Pony walked into the library and seen Rainbow and I? I suppose it's a lesson of friendship in all of this. I can't think of letters, though. All I can think of is getting you away and kissing your face. Support me on Patreon. Subscribe and make sure to ring that notification bell to know when I post new content. And please, feel free to join the Lotus Garden. 
links in the description. Thanks for listening and look forward to more. Good night, everypony.